गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कोरल ब्लीचिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज According to US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration that is NOAA corals are globally bleaching and dying due to record ocean heat in fourth mass event Now let's discuss about corals Corals are made up of genetically identical organisms called polyps These polyps have microscopic algae called zooxanthellae living within their tissues the corals and algae have a mutualistic relationship the coral provides the zooxanthellae with the compounds necessary for photosynthesis in return the zooxanthellae supply the coral with organic products of photosynthesis like carbohydrates which are utilized by the coral polyps for synthesis of their calcium carbonate skeletons In addition to providing corals with essential nutrients, zooxanthellae are responsible for the unique and beautiful colors of corals. Now let's discuss what is coral bleaching. When corals face stress by changes in conditions such as temperature, light, or nutrients, they expel the symbiotic algae, zooxanthellae living in their tissues, causing them to turn completely white. This phenomenon is called coral bleaching. The pale white color is of the translucent tissues of calcium carbonate which are visible due to the loss of pigment producing zooxanthellae. Bleached corals can survive depending on the levels of bleaching and the recovery of sea temperatures to normal levels. If heat pollution subsides in time over a few weeks, the zooxanthellae can come back to the corals and restart the partnership. but severe bleaching and prolonged stress in the external environment can lead to coral death over the last couple of decades climate change and increased global warming owing to rising carbon emissions and other greenhouse gases have made seas warmer than usual coral bleaching has occurred in the caribbean indian and pacific oceans on a regular basis now let's have a look at mass coral bleaching first mass bleaching it occurred in 1998 when the el nino weather pattern caused sea surfaces in the pacific ocean to heat up this event caused 8% of the world's coral to die second mass bleaching this event took place in 2002 in the past decade however mass bleaching occurrences have become more closely spaced in time with the longest and most damaging bleaching event taking place from 2014 to 2017 and third mass bleaching the event that took place between 2014 to 17 affected reefs in the guam in the western pacific region the north south pacific and the indian ocean it is also to be noted that global temperature in 2017 was the third highest to ever be recorded Now is the time for practice question. What is the primary cause of coral bleaching? Pollution, overfishing, ocean acidification or elevated sea temperatures? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.